what Twitter or X has done with their marketing platform is so exciting and so amazing. It has the power to change your marketing game. It has the power to transform how you do your marketing. It has the power to bring you new customers and sales like never before. So in the next few minutes, I want to walk you through this brilliant newly redesigned Twitter marketing platform that I am so excited about, that I am so excited to show you. I want to share with you some ideas and some thoughts why you should not sleep on this platform because I think your business can derive a lot of value when there are so few people who are using it and taking advantage of it. So if you go on your Twitter account, and you click on more and you go on your ads. The ads platform will take you to the newly redesigned Twitter marketing platform. It will do wonders for your business. So before we talk about what is happening, let's just go through basically how the website looks like and what is happening on the website. So on the X ads, this is the, the button that takes you to the ads page. If you click on the analytics, it takes you to your account home. These are the statistics that have to do with your account or the views that you're getting, that your tweets and your content is generating. It's a beautiful way of giving you a breakdown of your analytics. If you click help, it will take you to Twitter help where you get useful articles that will answer the questions you may have that have to do with um, the platform. This is where you get official policy from Twitter. This is basically your account. It has information about your account details. For example, you can add a new payment method. You can add your account settings. You can edit the access to your account. So basically, when you arrive on the homepage of Twitter's ad manager, it is broken down into three pages. So you have um, an objective page. You have a way you create the ads on page number two. And on page three, it gives you how you want to deliver your advert. So let's just go through it in the next few minutes and explain. And let me share with you some of the things that I've learned that I think you can use on this platform that will give you great results. Twitter has borrowed from Facebook. This is basically how Facebook formats its ad manager. I think they're taking this from Facebook. Okay, when you land on the homepage, firstly, you need to know what you want your advert to do for your business. What, what is the objective of your advert? Do you want to reach more people like this one? Do you want to get more people to see your advert? Or do you want them to, do you want people to engage with your advert? Do you want more likes? Do you want more retweets, replies, or link clicks? Or do you want to send them to your website? Maybe you are selling something. Maybe you have a blog, like maybe you're, you're writing stories. You can use Twitter ads to send people to your blog, like I am doing here. Or you can send them to your shop, like I am doing here, where I'm selling my marketing templates. Or you can use keywords, reach users with high intent. Basically, this means that there are some people who are searching, for example, someone is searching for ready-made ready -made marketing templates. Someone is searching for that exact keyword, ready-made marketing template. So you can come here on Twitter and say, use these keywords to reach users. So my advice is, as you're starting on your marketing journey as a business, you should be able to use all of these. But what I would suggest is, firstly, start with running a general advert that reaches as many people as possible. Why is that important? Some people don't even know you exist. If you can start by running a, an advert that reaches as many people as you can, so what I've noticed with Twitter is it can give you massive reach for a very little amount. You can reach millions of people for less than two to three dollars. You can reach millions of people. So this is important because you are a business. You don't know who will want your product in the future. So run an advert where you can reach as many people, you know, even if they don't respond, you just want them to know you exist. You just want them to know that you have a business that sells something. You just want to show up in their timeline. And you know, the reason why you should be using Twitter to advertise is this. The way that 
X runs its adverts. It doesn't intrude into the experience of the user because they fit in within the timeline. It's like a piece of content that just says sponsored, but it doesn't stop the person from enjoying the content. Whereas when you come to advertising using blogs, they disturb the way the consumer is consuming the content, leading to advertising fatigue and people leaving the platform because so many ads are popping up at the same time. So you want to first choose an objective where you can run an advert that can reach as many people as you can. Announce to the world that you exist. Just run an advert where you can reach as many people as you can. When you have finished running a rich advert and you've maybe reached two to three, five million people, you can then rerun the same advert, but then choose the engagement objective where you are now telling the platform, look, you ran my advert, you showed it to two million people and Twitter knows who paused and spent some time to consume your advert. Maybe it's a video who played your video. So it knows the people that had an inkling. It knows the people that are talking about maybe what you're selling. So when you then rerun that advert, but for the engagement objective, you are going to get very good results because you have warmed up the market. You have warmed up the algorithm. It now knows what you are trying to sell. It now knows who you are trying to reach. So the moment you run an engagement objective advert, it will give you people who are most likely to like your advert, to retweet it, to give you replies. While you are running the engagement, you can also run a website traffic objective where you are piggy banking on the engagement. You are running now an advert where you are telling Twitter, send people to my website. Twitter now has different sets of information. It's in the best interest of Twitter to bring you traffic because you are paying for the service and it will deliver you the people that are most likely going to come to your platform. You can also do the same with the keywords research. Once you have run a reach or an engagement objective, I tell you, when you run these other highly defined objectives, you're going to get very positive responses. So once you've decided which objective you want, let's go to the next page where we are now creating the advert. This process is a bit complicated on Facebook. A lot of people make a lot of mistakes because it has so much information on Facebook. But I like the way Twitter or X has simplified this process to make it so easy to understand. So for example, let's say we're selling this advert. One of my templates, this one, the best product marketing template, Selica Pro. It's a ready-made video marketing template. A business can just take and change and then use it as a, a social media marketing video. Say I'm selling that. So let's create an advert for that. So let's, um, let's just say something. Are you struggling to... Is struggling to make to make a market, professional mar video marketing struggling to make a professional marketing video okay I like the fact that I can I like the fact that I can put uh, paragraphs on the advert um, here's a ready-made for you easily customizable very easy to customize let's just say um, just drag and drop And put an and put a, a an emoji. Put I love emojis. People use emojis every day, so 
why not? So Twitter gives you a way, gives a preview for you to see how the advert would look like on the timeline. This is a tweet. This is your advert and this is another tweet. So we said, are you struggling to make a professional marketing video? Here's a ready-made Canva marketing video template for you. It's very easy to customize, just drag and drop. Simple, simple tweet. You can choose to disable people to comment. It's up to you. That's your decision, whether you want people to comment or you want them to, to comment on your platform, maybe on your website. Doesn't matter, whatever you choose is fine. So let's, let's, let's choose the, the media. So I think I've uploaded something. So let's use that. Let's preview it on the preview page. So this is how it looks like. Look at how beautiful your advert would look like on the Twitter timeline. So this is what people on Twitter will see. Preview. This is what they are seeing. And let's just confirm that. The advert is already made. Launching this ad will create a promoted only tweet learn more about promoted only tweets it's just a way of saying this is the advert that you are running on twitter so once you're satisfied with your advert you go to the next page can you imagine how simple it was to create this advert took us less than a few minutes so when when you're running your your advert you should always start with a question because questions are a good way they stop the scrolling because when you ask questions people usually want to answer you know it's a human thing that when there is a button someone wants to press it when there is a question someone wants to answer it are you struggling to make a professional marketing video maybe we could say to get more sales or customers. It looks like there's no limit to what you can say. There's no um, character limit to what you can say from what I am seeing here. I'm struggling to make a professional marketing video to get more sales or customers. Here's a ready-made Canva marketing video template for you. It's very easy to customize, just drag and drop. Okay straightforward we've asked the question we've answered the question if someone is interested they are going to click and watch the video why a video because a video is interactive look at it if someone is scrolling on their timeline and they see a video like this and if they are interested in what you're selling then they are going to pay attention and go to where you are sending them <music> So once you finish your advert, it will take you to how you are going to deliver your advert. Customized delivery. First thing is demographics. Who do you want to reach? Narrow your audience based on their gender, age, and location. Brilliant. I like that. In the past, you couldn't do this with Twitter advertising. So I want to reach any women or men. Age, maybe you want to specify, I'm selling marketing templates. Maybe I'll start at 21 or maybe I'll start at 25 and, and above. But in some countries, 21-year-olds are already starting to make some business ideas. So let's say 21 and above. And then location, I'm in Zimbabwe. Maybe we could say, I want to reach people in Kenya, or maybe you want to reach people in... So I just want you to have a look at the audience summary. So when I said Kenya, it told us how many people we would be reaching potential reach, 1.5 to 1.6 million. But let's say maybe you want to do the United States. This is what makes Twitter so powerful, that you are able now to reach anyone in the world and it's telling you you're able to reach 90 to 99 million that's wild that's very good okay so um, targeting features do you want to use keywords it's optional i would suggest that um, you should try this feature run it for five days and see without keywords because twitter is intelligent enough to know what you are trying to sell besides the targeting feature they have something that facebook doesn't necessarily have out of the box In facebook you can create lookalike audiences lookalike audiences are basically people who are mostly likely to be interested in the same thing for example we are selling a marketing template so maybe a lookalike audience are people that are interested in canva we're selling a canva template so maybe you can say canva 
Twitter then gives you a platform for you to include people or that are already following someone on their platform to reach out to those same people and people that you can advertise to. That is so powerful. This means if you're competing with a company, maybe say there's a company that is making ready-made adverts like Visme, we could come here and say, okay, I want to reach Visme. They already have an audience. People that are already interested in what you're selling, you could reach them, but it's now telling us, well, from 90 million, you're able to reach about 70,000 people. But these are not just ordinary people. These are now people that have an interest in what you're trying to sell. That is what makes Twitter ads so powerful. The ability for you to automatically reach a lookalike audience, for you to go and tap into your competitor's market and sell to them. This is what makes Twitter a game changer. This is what is making me so excited as a digital marketer. This is something you cannot sleep on as a business. The ability for you to tap into your competitor's market and compete with them and advertise to them. That's excellent. Like, for example, look, look at my followers. I have 45 followers, but I'm able to reach 70,000 people from a brand that is already as people that are interested in what I am trying to sell. That makes Twitter the most powerful advertising platform right now on the planet. Here's another part why you should not sleep on Twitter. This, the ability to say, I want to start with a budget of $1. What? You're telling me that I can just put a dollar a day and Twitter will run an advert for a dollar a day and I'll be able to reach people in whatever location that I want to reach for a dollar a day and still market? What? Because in the past, you couldn't do this. In the past, Twitter would tell you you needed to have a minimum budget of $10. That was out of reach of many businesses that didn't have a marketing budget. Because paid advertising is very expensive. Because you're not guaranteed that if I spend... $10 a day, am I going to get people that convert, that are going to buy my products? But if I'm spending a dollar a day and my marketing template is $15, it doesn't matter even if I get one customer a day. I'm making a profit. So this is what is so exciting about Twitter ads. The ability to use whatever budget you want per day. You can even specify how long you want to run your budget. You can say, okay, fine. I want to run this from the 21st to the 28th. I want to run this for seven days. Obviously, Twitter is going to put a VAT tax on it. Maybe I'll pay $9. But what is $9 for your business? If you're serious about marketing your business, you can start with a budget of $5 a day and reach as many people as you can. Bring them to your platform, to your website, have them look at your page and see whether they're interested in buying or not. This is incredible. This can change how you're doing business right now. So once you've done that, you need to add a credit card and how you're going to pay for the advert. This is straightforward. So since we are not running the advert right now, let's end here. But look at the potential. Look at the power of running an advert like this from as low as $1 a day. You can start with $5. You can start with $10. That is powerful. This is what is making me so excited. The ability to create such a highly defined targeted advert from anywhere in the world targeting any country. This is a revolutionary. This can change the way your business is marketing itself. You need to take advantage of Twitter right now, right away. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want you to struggle with marketing ever again. So catch you on the next one. Stay blessed.